Hello everyone, it's me Asifa Lahore, your British Muslim transgender drag queen. I'm really excited today because today is February the 22nd uh, of 2019 and that means I've been on hormones for two years. Yes! I'm really excited to be like sharing my journey the last two years on hormones with you guys. I'm going to start by telling you what happened when I started my journey. Two years ago when I decided, okay, I'm going to transition, I basically uh, went to Trans Health in London and I went to see Dr. Curtis and Dr. Curtis gave me Sandrina gel. Now, Sandrina gel comes in this like little sachets. Um, and I basically was prescribed 2 mg a day. So what I do is I take two, two sachets a day and I rub it on my tummy. Let me just show you if I can see. I rub it on my tummy. I rub it on my tummy uh, in the mornings every day um, and I leave it there for about an hour. And what happens, it absorbs into the body and it goes all the way around your bloodstream. Basically your body fat gets redistributed so here's a picture of the day before I started hormones. As you can see, I was like super lean, super, super, super lean. Um, not a lot of fat uh, on me. Um, and dress wise, I was like a UK size six. Now, during the course of my two years, what happens is I put on a lot of weight. I put on um, weight around my stomach area, my hip my bum uh, and my boobs obviously and my fat just sort of redistributed all around the body in different parts and I went up to a really chunky size 8 so currently I'm a UK size 8 which isn't a dramatic uh, change but when you think about like how lean and like slim I was any bit of fat like made such a massive um, uh, difference to me okay I'm now going to talk about breast growth. On two years of being on hormones, I have had amazing breast growth. So I wonder if you can see, if I turn to the side, oh fuck it. So one second, let me just do up my bra. So this is the kind of breast development that I've had. Whoops. So this is the kind of breast growth that I've had. And if I put like, you know, if I show you like this, that's the kind of breast growth that I've had. And it's pretty decent. I mean, I am a really full 32A and I'm really happy with that because it really suits my body frame. I've decided not to get implants. Let me just put my um, jumper back on. So when I started hormones, I would get a lot of itching around the breast area. My areolas just grew. They darkened and they grew. I remember one time I came back home and I went into the shower and I just got like a sponge, a really hard exfoliating sponge. And I just went all over because I was just itching so much uh, in my first like three months of being on hormones. And by the time I got into about six months, I had like cups, I had like, you know, decent breast development. And then from month six to about a year, nothing really happened. But in the second year, like I began just getting fuller and fuller and fuller. Yeah, now I'm a 32A. I'm a really full A and I'm um, probably gonna go on to a B hopefully fingers crossed but I'm really really happy with my breast growth the other thing that happened obviously is my hair my hair just grew I have naturally like uh, thick uh, curly hair and I had to basically like learn how to manage it I obviously like fork it out like and I use a lot of like leave-in conditioners and whatnot but yeah I've got I've got hair like scary spice back in the day and uh, I love my hair, I really do. It's, my hair growth uh, on my head has just been like amazing. I want it obviously to grow more. I want it to grow like up to my boobs, just nice and long. Um, and obviously when I do my drag, I just pull it all back, plait it and just put on weaves and wigs. But my natural hair is gorgeous. I had next to nothing like body hair. And basically what happened was the body hair I did have just sort of went even finer or sort of just vanished. Um, I had a little bit of laser like on 
uh, my underarms and my face obviously. Hormones won't get rid of your facial hair, you definitely need to get laser. I used a diode laser in central London. Uh, the company was called Smoother You. Um, and Smoother You were just amazing. Like Maria, who works at Smoother You, she basically, um, I was worried about like my skin type. I was worried about brown skin and laser not working on brown skin. But because my hair's really dark, it just worked. Like I had about 10 sessions and my facial hair just went. And obviously because I was on hormones and a mixture of the laser, things just worked really fast. And obviously coming from a Pakistani background, a British Pakistani background, I obviously had full beard. You know, I was 33 when I started my transition, so, uh, and I'm 35 now, so literally I had a full big ass Pakistani beard, like thick black hair, and it just all went, it just all went because of the hormones and laser. The other thing that happened is I, I haven't had any surgery anywhere on my body, no implants on my boobs or no effeminization um, procedures on my face. I was really always really, really happy with my face, like in drag and stuff. Uh, so I always knew how I would look, but I just left my face because it just works. It, it works for me and um, I'm really lucky, like in the sense that obviously I have passing privilege and I know that, you know, my transition so far has been really, really smooth. I haven't had any surgery. All I've needed is, is hormones and things have really worked out for me. And I know that not every... Um, transgender woman's um, journey is like mine. So if you feel like you need to get a feminization surgery, go for it. What has happened is my face has got rounder, like it's become much more um, plumpy, I would say, and rounder and there's much more fat on my face. And I've lost like the definition I had as a boy, which is annoying when it comes to drag because I like to like have like, you know, a snatched face and a snatched contour and my nose to be like kuchum. But hey, I can use makeup to do that. In terms of feelings, like the first six months, like it was a roller coaster. Like I had lots of mood swings. Um, I would cry a lot. I would get emotional at so many little things. Um, and that literally leveled out. Like after six months, it just leveled out where my mood swings just stopped and I just got really comfortable like feeling wise like I have to say a lot's changed like I'm not as aggressive anymore I'm much calmer um I definitely feel much more comfortable in my skin let me talk about the negatives so for me um the negatives were I guess being a public figure, like, you know, everyone knew me as Britain's first out Muslim drag queen. I still perform in drag, don't get me wrong. I, I still have a successful drag career. I, I basically was on hormones for about three or four months before I came out as transgender. And it got to a point where I still had facial hair and my boobs were growing. And about six months in, I just had to basically start living full time um, as a Sifa Lahore transgendered woman day in day out and by the way what you see now is a Sifa Lahore the trans woman a Sifa Lahore the drag queen is a whole different story and a whole different ball game like she looks different she acts different she just is different she's an alter ego for stage you know it got to a point where I just had to live day in day out and my laser surgery on my face hadn't got to a point where all my um facial hair had gone. So I had to basically still use my pan sticks every day to make sure that I was, all the shade had gone and that I was living, you know, as a woman because it just got to a point where my boobs um, just didn't allow me to, to live um, as male. So that was one negative side is you'll get to a point where suddenly, boof, you just have to go for it. And um, for me that I guess was the only negative because I still had facial hair and I found it difficult and also um, I didn't have a lot of hair back then so um, I had to wear wigs like everyday wigs and stuff and it was a nuisance but you know everyone's uh, journey is different so um, you got to do what you got to do take it at your own pace the other thing that changed that I noticed were my hands so before um, I transitioned I had really veiny hands like really 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 veiny hands but my hands like since being on on hormones my hands have just 
evened out if that makes any sense like the fat distribution and stuff has really worked and the veins have just gone like it's all like you know, like a hand basically. I hope you like my manicure by the way. Right now, two years down the line, I feel absolutely amazing. Like I have no regrets. Um, the only thing I'm waiting for at the moment is my GRS, my gender reassignment surgery, which hopefully won't take much longer. You know, by the end of the year, by the end of 2019, fingers crossed, I would have had my surgery. So that's the only surgery I'm sort of waiting for. Um, and yeah, that's it. I'm like super, super, super happy. If you guys have any questions about my transition, the last two years, anything, just comment below, ask me questions below. You can also subscribe to my channel. I will be doing videos every week from now on. And also, if you want to get notifications of my new videos, just click on the bell and you'll get um, notifications of my new videos. I'm gonna be doing makeup tutorials. I'm gonna be doing music videos. I'm re releasing a lot of music this year. Um, and I'm just having the time of my life. I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff on YouTube. So stay tuned. And remember, I am Asifa Lahore, your British Muslim transgender drag queen.